Okay, guys, this is Mr. Shiny Gators. Welcome back to Let's Play Crisis Core. In the last part, we did training, we found out about our first mission, and in this part, we were going to continue on with the mission. So let's, uh, I believe we want to go back in here and talk to Angel. Are, you, are we ready? Yes, we are all set and ready to go. I'll be joining you as well. I'm counting on you. Sir! By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. To become a hero. Ah, good. Unattainable dreams of the best kind. Uh, oh, you. <laughs> uh, we'll show you. We'll be a hero by the end of this. We'll find a way. We'll find a way. Anyway, now we're in Wutai. Fort Tamlin is straight ahead. Let's hurry, B unit is standing by. You two, identify yourselves. Well, looks like it's battle time. Yeah, just leave it to me. I got this. Peace is what, who we're going to be fighting a lot of in this part. Wu-Tai soldiers. Oh no, he hit me for one damage. Alright, next. Calm down, Zack. No can do. The director's watching from somewhere, right? I have to make a good impression. Zack. Do you know about dumb apples? No, what is that? Unbelievable. How can you not know about dumb apples? You'll never to make you'll never make it for first. Ah, you'll never make first at this rate. There we go. Whoa, wait. What are dumb apples? Anyway, now we're in our first field area, and um, a little tip you can do is if you run along walls, uh, it reduces the chance of random encounters. Because um, being along the side... Activating combat mode. Whereas if you like do this and just run around, you, you can usually run into encounters. So, I mean, it's just Wutai soldiers here, not too big a deal. But uh, you can... There you go, auto-critical. So yeah, not too much to do though. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, uh, blah, 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 blah. pretty straightforward. Here we go. Not too hard. I mean, these battles, these battles are are pretty easy. They're not supposed to be hard. Although now I'm getting just swarmed by counters. Okay. I don't know. I was checking SP for some reason. I don't know. I was like, do we have plenty? And it's like, we already have like 900. That's very good for now. So, Angeal, what's the deal with oh, dumb there we apples? Get, we get the forced. official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. The local farms had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? So you stole them? We were poor, Zack. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest but okay, white tree you, what, what do you mean by wealthy that? man's estate. Okay. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. Of, of course, of course, because you couldn't have them. That's why they tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree, because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, 
You should have just asked for some. Honor can be quite a burden Honor at times. Honor can be quite a burden at times. And what exactly does this have to do with me? No story is not worth hearing. Oh, believe me, this is one is worth hearing. You'll have dumb apples come up quite a bit, That's it? as well as Angeal's friend. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. We'll find out who that actually is, um, in a, in a at a later point. But we we will find out who it is. Believe me. Anyway, we want to keep going. Um, somehow I thought there was. Wait, is there? There is a map. Square is a map. I remember that. It took me like four playthroughs to realize you could do that. <laughs> anyway, a oh, mail, mail, come on. Soldier responsibilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta keep the enemy distracted or something here. Yeah. Let's just go to Mount Hamlin near Fort. And we get another scene now. B unit will set off an explosion. That's our cue. The diversion will allow us to infiltrate. Right. I'll set the bomb inside the fortress. You'll charge the front gate and uh huh. And 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 and, and, and. indulge yourself. You got it. That's what I do. Oh best. yeah, this should be fun. We could do with Come on, B unit. You know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? Use brings, brings about, about wear, wear tear, tear, and rust. And, rust. and, that's, and that's a real, real waste. waste. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. I can be pretty cheap. Yeah, no kidding. Begin mission. And now we get heightened motions have affected the DMW, which basically means when you go into limit break, which we haven't gotten yet, um, you usually see characters' faces spinning as we meet them, otherwise they're blanked out, but um, when the height and the motions affect the DMW, it means you're more likely to get a particular character, and then if you get three of a particular character in the limit break, you get a special attack that you you do, sort of thing. We'll see. We'll don't worry. We'll, we'll see plenty of what I what I mean by that as we go on. But uh, anyway, we got a, a sort of battle here, so let's just we we'll get some Wu Tai troops. For the most part, not too big a deal. Although they do, they are gonna respawn a bit, so we gotta just we have to worry about that a little. Also, you can you can attack those ones up on top, but um, I'm gonna save those for last because um, otherwise they uh, I'd rather just fight because um, ah, what I'm trying to say is there's a specific amount of uh, enemies that you have to beat here. And they can either spawn on the ground or spawn in the air, depending on what's what, uh, where, uh, openings, as in like enemies defeated on the ground, so or in in the uh, on top of the wall. So I want to leave the ones on top of the wall left last, so that they don't respawn on the wall, so that we don't have to fight more of them. I'd rather fight as many as I have to on the ground. Opposed to on top of the wall. And I also need to make sure I keep my eye on my health. Not that they do a particular. Uh, uh, too, are particularly too damaging. But, uh, just a good idea. Okay, I think we're good. What, what we want to do Blizzard, Blizzard, and Blizzard. And we good. I don't actually like using Blizzard all that much, but this is one of the times where it's actually really useful because the, um, the enemies can't avoid them. Blizzard is one of the easier magics to avoid in this game. 
because it sort of it'll spawn over the enemy, but the enemy still has time to move. But since they're on top of the wall, they don't they can't actually move from where they are. They're sort of locked in in a specific place. Anyway, let's jump down and get into another battle. Activating combat mode. This one, you don't have to worry about new enemies, although I should worry about not wasting MP on Blizzard. That would be very nice. I'm also surprised I have not got a single DMW. Yeah, piece of cake. I could have done it blindfold. Not really. You had to use magic on the guys on top, otherwise you wouldn't know they were there. Don't get too careless. I've heard the Wu Tai keep a large monster for anti-soldier purposes. It should be somewhere inside Fort Tamlin. If I take it out, do you think I'll, I'll make first? It depends on quality of work. Your main duty is to draw the Wu Tai troops to you by running amok. Do well, and the director will give you a favorable evaluation. Oh, that'll be easy. Just leave it to me. Anyway, so now we have things. Now we got a, our mission to run around and draw as much attention as we can. And the stars are sort of the overall attention. And, and based on the stars, you get different prizes. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head, and I'll get what I get. But I don't think I'm going for the... the um, the f the best sort of thing. Anyway, we want to head up here left, and we get a battle, and we get those Wu Tai dogs. I forget what they're called at the moment. Foullander, but they're a bit harder, and they like to cast fire, but they're not too hard. You can just wail on them. Anyway, we get this chest, and in this chest we get a Soma, which um, restores uh, AP. It's sort of like an ether, but for eight, um, which restores MP, but instead this works for AP. Sort of like a potion would heal your HP. So now we want to head this way, right. Um, keep make sure you're going the right way. Okay. So, and we get another battle. I mean, for the most part, there you'll have to fight a specific amount of battles anyway, but. And we get an ether. That, that's something that those enemies sometimes drop, which is very nice. But uh, actually, what I want to do right now is do a quick cure. Because you can do it outside of battle, which I find is really nice. Anyway, now we want to head right again. We get another battle, this time against just two of the. I'll call them dogs. That's what I'm going to call them. And we got an ether. Nice. Another one. Now we want to head right again. And we just want to follow them up to the left. And we get another battle. I mean, I'm not gonna cut these out just because they're they're like mandatory battles. Here we go, we finally got a DMW as well. Let's see, do we get anything? Double threes? That means Cure should have leveled up. That's nice. Level two Cure. I'll take it. Anyway, left battle, there should be a chest. Aha. There's, and in this chest we get a potion. Okay, now there's another chest here. Let's open it. As it's actually a trap. And you get another battle. Activating combat mode. Oh, we must be in a position where I, the game wants to pull me to a level because right now, uh, we're getting quite a few modular phases. Oh, you troll! And this is why the DMW is one of the biggest trolls ever. It d it'll do that to you more times than you care to care to find out. It'll do that so many times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
It is a giant troll. That is the DMW. Now we want to keep moving forward. There should be a another battle coming up. Activating combat mode. So now we can just, just two of the dogs. And not hard. I mean, these battles certainly are hard. Now we want to head over here to the right. And, uh... Okay. Sorry, I was flipping through my notes there. More just, I had to flip, turn the page. Anyway, another battle. I'm just gonna go for these guys, I guess, first. Ouch, that hurt, dog thing. Stop shooting me with fireballs, thank you. Anyway, that's good. That's just, uh... I'm just gonna use here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I know I'm not using a whole lot of magic here, but believe me when I say we'll, I'll use a ton of magic at certain points in the game. Like, it, it'll be ridiculous how much MP, like, we just go through, we'll go through MP a lot. So anyway, we've got that chest with the high potion. And now I think we want to head over this way. Yeah. Okay, so we got this, uh, where they're shooting at us, and we're gonna get an option here, a choice. If you charge, you, um, you'll get through this quicker, actually, you'll, it less battles and whatnot, but as a result, you get don't get as good a reward later. So if you were speedrunning, you'd want to charge, but I'm gonna go for it. I'll find a different route. I believe, uh... Yeah, we want to head over here for a battle. Ouch, stop hitting me with fire, please. Please. Okay, and in here we get an ether. Now I believe we want to... Is there a... Yeah, we want to examine this door. I like how that the yellow guy was just standing there this time. Like, really? You're just gonna stand there? This is Lazard. Enemy troops appear to be lurking in every corner. This fortress will not go down easily. It appears that way. I was just assaulted while I was checking a revolving wall. There may be similar traps set up at other walls. Proceed with caution. So yeah, revolving walls, it's a thing. As you can see, there's more stars. So, so I think we want to head... Ah, I'm part blind. We want to head left. I'm now getting myself lost. Oh yeah, I'm probably going the exact opposite way that I want to go. Sorry about this. Uh, this this place gets me confused sometimes. I should probably just check the map. Anyway, let's head around this way then. To the left. Oh, it's the same. Oops. Uh, I'll find a different route. Okay, so we want to head this way. Okay, head through here. We want to head left here. I believe... Nope. Oh man, I don't remember what I was supposed to do now. Maybe it was... Um, Where was I supposed to go? I almost want to say there was, yeah, there was that wall up here. Uh, 
And I'm sorry about this. This is uh, not supposed to be. Why am I getting so mess turned around and stuff? Oh, it's because of this. Yeah, it must be. Yeah, that's my fault. Sorry about that taking longer. And that I always get messed up in this place. Part of the reason I've never gotten the best result, I think, too. Because uh, the best result, I believe, involves going... Well, the best reward, you have to, like, go back and find the other trap walls and stuff. And, yeah, we're just beating up on the guys. While he was just blabbering on. And as a result, we got a potion. So we want to, uh... Now we want to head left. And we get another battle. Okay. Let's finish this up. Oh god, these guys. No, we need to take out one of them. We need to take out one of them. Heal. Stupid dogs. We just had to have three of them. Okay, there we go. Now they shouldn't be any trouble. Okay, and... It appears you're doing well, Zack. The enemy forces within uh, Fort Samuel have essentially been re reduced to half. There are still some enemies units roaming around, but you can proceed to the central area if you like. Um, I'll take out more enemies here first. Um, I, I'm gonna click on that for one reason in this that I want this treasure chest but um there are like I said if you go back and like find the revolving doors you can get into more I'm just gonna move on because ultimately I don't care much about the reward any too big about the reward anyway um, that I would get for doing the other ones I believe the one I'm gonna get right now should be what actually I, I'd prefer anyway so and with that the assault on Fort Tamplin is complete. So now we want to just head into the courtyard, which is where I'll do a few more stuff and before probably ending it off in here. Okay. So in this area, it's more like wh where it was before, where we have sort of random battles that'll show up like this. But, um, I will start cutting out random battles like I did in the Tales of later. Especially with su certain missions where you fight enemies over again. With about the only difference is sometimes they have more HP and whatnot. But I figure for the first part, I mean, the enemies are also really quick at this point too. And there's also modulating phase, we need to get some of those going. So it control me. Oh, you GMW. So what I should have said, we went ahead right here. Because there's a chest with earrings. Now what we actually want to do is head left, because as you can probably see, there's a chest over there. And we want that as well. Because why not? It's a chest, it's there. I want it, as it gives us a high potion. And now I'll check the mail real quick. Situation with Wu Tai, Shinra News, blah 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 blah. Okay. Anyway, we have a save point here, but before, actually, I want to look at the earrings real quick, I'll, so I can at least explain them because they're an accessory. Earrings bump up your magic five. I'll equip it for now, mainly just for. Uh, one of the bosses, I'll, uh, it'll be kind of useful for. Anyway, what we want to do is now is examine this sort of shrine, monument, whatever you want to call it. This is actually something I didn't realize until like my third playthrough that you could do this, because it's it's optional, but it's it's not like one of the other optional things which close. Uh, which if you don't do it, it locks off certain missions, so... It's here. It's an extra battle, pretty much. That's about it. But it's... It's it's, nah, it's probably not a bad idea to go out of your way for it. So anyway, let's uh, 
Let's go through this text kind of fast, but whatever. So anyway, yeah, after lots of dialogue, we get to fight with the uh, Crescent unit. Activating combat mode. Who are a little bit harder than your average Butai guys, if I remember correctly. So it's a, it's a bit more of a challenging one. Darn. Need to get better at dodging. Anyway, yeah. Uh, okay, now that I got it down to one, I shouldn't have any problem. And like that, we're good. So it's a bit of a harder fight, but not too hard. Especially if you get dodging down. It takes a little practice, which is why it might not be a bad idea to try it out on uh, other, just the normal enemies we've fought that aren't too hard. But, um,. You'll get used to it. It's one of those things. That it, it's like dodge rolling in Kingdom Hearts 1 and stuff. It's one of those things. You get used to it, the timing and things, uh, as you as you play it more. So anyway, this is where I'm going to end off this part. And in the next part, we will continue on into that dojo-y kind of place. And uh, we'll see if they, uh, we can find those uh, anti-Shinra monsters that... Uh, Angela had mentioned. So this is Mr. Shreddy Garros signing out guys. Have a good day and goodbye.